Hi, in this video, I will walk you through three different scenarios in terms of setting up your laptop or desktop PC with more than one monitor. Let's start with something simple. Laptop connected to two monitors via docking station or directly by using HDMI cables and required adapters. If you haven't done so yet, I recommend you watch my previous videos on how to set it all up. Here I have laptop lid closed and two screens connected and powered on. Notice the image on the left seems to follow one on the right. This is called duplicate and you can easily change that to extend mode. Right click anywhere on your desktop and select display settings. Scroll down to the bottom of the window and in multiple display sections select extend these displays instead of duplicate. Now scroll up, you should see two display icons, one for each monitor. Click identify to see if they match temporary markings on each monitor. I need to switch the two of them around by simply left clicking, dragging it around to the other side and then releasing it. Click apply and identify again. Your screen should now be in right order and should show a separate image. One more thing, my right screen is currently set as my main display. I would like the left one to have this functionality instead, so I head back to display settings menu, scroll down and tick the box, make this my main display, simple as. I now have dual screen set up with each monitor acting as individual units and my left one set as main one. Let me open up my laptop lid, this way making this a triple monitor setup. I've purposely configured it to have two screens in duplicate mode and one in extend. Let's change this to span across all monitors instead. Same as before, I right click on my desktop, select display settings and check the configuration. Straight away, I see third monitor showing one part and screens one and two second part of the image in duplicate mode. I need to split them. Once again, I scroll down and select extend desktop on one and two, accept changes, go back to the top of the menu, identify and preview changes. Software tells me screen order is three, two, one, but my displays are showing up as one, two, and three. So I will arrange them accordingly and check again. Click apply, all done. For those of you who are still here, here's a few handy extras. First, let's properly adjust the multi-screen layout matching what I see and perceive. I head back into the same menu Select screen one, my main laptop display and position it on the left of my monitor. My mouse now moves from laptop to the monitor above and then to monitor on the right. Just as before, I can also make my laptop screen my main display in terms of menus by selecting the option below. One last bit before this video goes sideways. You can also have an option of changing scaling screens. Keep an eye on my laptop monitor as I change it up and down. This scales Windows elements. You can use this option if your screen content seems too small or if you have non-matching monitors. This also works on single screen and is very handy for high resolution laptop monitors and external displays or projectors. The last one is a bit out there, but some of you might find it useful. So here it is. You can position your monitors vertically, then head back to display settings and arrange the icons to somewhat match the physical layout on your desk. Then while having the correct monitor selected, scroll down and change display orientation. Do this for both screens one at a time. I now have two screens in portrait mode and laptop screen in landscape. It's actually quite useful in some scenarios and given your monitor arm allows this sort of adjustment, why not give it a go? And that's pretty much it. You can use this setup on any Windows 10 PC, laptop or desktop and on any monitor display, TV or projector and even a mix of either. One last tip. Make sure to have correct display icon selected when you're changing settings to make sure you're modifying the right monitor. Of course, you can always revert back. This should cover most of your needs, wants and preferences. Hope this video was helpful to you and your setup. Feel free to share, comment and don't forget to subscribe for more content to come. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.